we are asked to state the condition of the constant a and c for which this expression here is always negative. If we let y to be this expression and plot the graph y, it will help us to understand the question better. Now this is a quadratic graph and because the question c is always negative, so we can expect the graph to be a set face. This is the graph of y equal to ax squared plus 6x plus a c. This graph has to lie below the x-axis because the y value of the graph must be always negative. As we can see, the highest point of this graph, the y value is negative. And hence, any y value of this graph will be negative. So you fulfill the question. So the first condition is a must be less than 0. If a is less than 0, we will have a set phase graph. For the second condition, the value of C must be negative. Now, why is C? C is the point where the graph cut the y-axis. And since all the y value here are negative, C being the y in the set must be negative as well. So, C must be less than 0. The last condition is the discriminant b squared minus 4ac must be less than 0 because the graph is below the x-axis. And again, the graph is below the x-axis because we want the y-value of the graph to be always negative. Let's simplify this expression. b take the value of 6, a take the value of a, and c take the value of c. So for a, c, so 36 is less than 4 a, c. a, c must be greater than 9. In conclusion, for this expression to be always negative, we must fulfill all these three conditions. In the second part of this question, we are asked to give a value of a and c that satisfy this statement here. So for a and c to satisfy this statement, we must fulfill all these three conditions. Let's determine the value of a first. a must be less than 0. So a can be negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Since we are asked to give only one value, so uh, negative 1 will be a very convenient value to start off with. C must be less than 0. Um, C can be negative 1, negative 2. But at the same time, it has to fulfill this equation here. So since we let uh, A to be negative 1, let's solve for C from this equation. So negative 1 multiplied by C must be greater than 9. So C must be um, multiplied by multiply a negative on both sides of the equation. So this sign will change. C will be less than negative 9. So a possible value of C is C can be equal to negative 10. Negative 10 is less than negative 9. Therefore, these are two possible values of A and C that fulfill this statement. Now bear in mind that this is only one of the possible answers. There are many answers to this question as long as your A and C fulfill all these three conditions. Please visit this website for more videos.